This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Let's go. We're investigating the notion of role playing to spice up your relationship. Nathan doesn't believe anyone does it. If it ever, ever got pitched to me, I would walk out laughing. I remember we used to work with someone. I cannot remember who it was. Maybe you won't now. You will. But they, um, uh, they were dating someone. They said, let's be sexy lions or tigers. <laughs> remember that? Oh, and they were asked to get on the ground and like prowl around and be sexy <laughs> tigers. And she just looked at him when he was down on the ground doing it and said no. Hard pass. And walked out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how big a fool would he have felt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Phil, how Hello. Hello, guys. Hi, Hi Phil. Phil. Role playing something you you've doing? you had a crack at? <laughs> yeah. Well, we tried to stick with uh, current events. So, like when the grand <laughs> final is on, you put footy jumpers on. Uh, last weekend, the Motor GP was on. I'm a big fan of that. So. Some motorbike helmets on our head. Uh, uh, is that, is that it, Phil? Is so that you just, sexy, Phil? This weekend you've got telephone, so maybe if you can find an old phone and a notepad, I don't know, you just got to work with the phone room. Yeah, That's yeah, the hello. thing. Oh, oh, Phil, Phil, can I say the um, full-face helmets, I mean, I'm guessing it wasn't much foreplay that no. day. No, <laughs> certainly not a lot well, of kissing. <laughs> When Days of Thunder come out and we did it, we didn't have helmets, so we just used force bands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever tips you the edge. That's right. Hey, Phil, what's the dialogue like uh, when that's happening? Um, do you really get into you the mood? The, well, the movie seems pretty good because you can, um, you know, use the, the dialogue from the movies and stuff. With the footy and that, yeah, that was a bit aggressive. But the <laughs> Motor GP one... Like, well, she didn't like being tackled to the ground. Fair but play on. <laughs> She just had to be the umpire in that situation. Uh. But with the um, with the Motor GP one, yeah, that's very racy. That one. So the dialogue, is, yeah, you just I'm coming into the corner, babe. I'm coming in. Phil, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what do you get out of this, Phil? Why is it regular? And why is it better than just I don't know? Well, Shits and giggles, laughs. Right. Okay, yeah, that's but sure. It's fun. It's just fun. It probably works eighty percent of the time, but a lot of the time it's it just. I'm sorry. Sorry, you know what? If you had an OnlyFans account, I would pay to see the Days of Thunder with the (laughs) (laughs) saucepans on your head. (laughs) You would be loving. Phil, Phil, you've opened our eyes. Good on you, mate. Um, Let's go to somebody we'll call Mm. Julie. Good morning, Julie. Hello. Hello, Hi, Julie. Julie. Julie, um, is role playing a thing that you get into? Not me, but my husband apparently. Up so okay. he mm-hmm. he services my car, and um, he likes to pretend he's the mechanic chasing a debt, including writing up invoices and leaving them on the bench for my mum to read, which is oh. highly embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, and are you paying in, in the invoices? Is there an amount of money, or there's a duty services to be paid? Oh, no. Yep, services rendered. Um, and when I, he's he's even said the debt collectors are at the door asking for their payment of the oh, invoices. Yes, it's a little bit awkward. What do I do? Do I send them away? And I'm like, yes, send them away. Um, and months, months later, he'll go, oh, you still haven't paid out on that invoice. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's been paid out on. He's like, well, have you got a receipt for it? I'm like, you serious? <laughs> and he provides you with a receipt. <laughs> Joy. I would, rep- I would you know what? receipt. I wonder He's how. He's very dogged. <laughs> I'd love to know how many times he's written lube job. I know, exactly. <laughs> Payment needed. <laughs> well, the itemizer that oil change is this. Oh, it was oil change. Radiator check. Oh, it's oh, it's radiator. Yeah. I, I can only yeah, understand. Right. Yes, yeah. yeah. What do you want to do to your muffler? <laughs> <laughs> this is Nathan, Nat and Sean. Our favourite spy. I mean, except that for the bit about how he told everyone he was a spy. Um, <laughs> Dave Callan. Therefore I fail. Hello, morning, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Dave. How are you? How Great. is spy school going? It, I've, have I told you I've deferred? <gasps> are you a yeah. spy school dropout? <laughs> I am. I am <laughs> spy school dropout. Uh, Go back to high school. Uh, that's from Grace, everyone spy under school. 50. Th- <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's important. I, I just, yeah, I had a lot of work this Semet this qu- um what's the word half of a year semester it's two yeah the last yes. semester three and four and I thought I'll defer it so I'm half a counter terrorist which I think right. is funnier oh. funnier that than is. a full that one that is yeah, yeah okay yeah. Yeah, it is yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It is. so don't, don't only half get us yeah I can half defuse things 
and, and I, I can, I'm, I'm like that. Um, I'm like that spy with the with the half a gun and the half a suit. What was his name? Dean Martin played him. Anyone under seventy? Over, <laughs> over, over, over seventy. Over seventy. Yeah, you're really hitting our demo the audience, on the circuit. <laughs> hey, Dave. Last time we uh, had a chat to you was fantastic as always. But you had the skill of playing the melody pops. Oh, yeah. Have you been practicing? I'm, I'm a mad Melody Pop fan. I'll bring it in next time if you like. Yes, thank you. It's actually amazing, but um, not all of them have the full range of tone. Yes. Mm. So sometimes you just get... <sighs> sometimes you get the yeah. Stradivarius of Melody Pops, though, when oh. you can play anything. Yeah, when you when you look at when you get a good one, it's like... do 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 um, yeah, you know it's what that magical, is, right? That's great. Yeah, I felt like I was there. Yeah, you felt like you were on the front of a boat with Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> I did. I was, going, <laughs> go, oh, was that, was that yeah. is that what that meant to joking? me? Going, go, go away, mate. You're over 25. Are you don't, Jeff, because I never got that. <laughs> oh. Where did I bring the real thing in? <laughs> I, uh, how did you get here this morning? Um, I got here uh, using a die die. Dee Dee? Dee Dee. I've yeah. never used anything but Uber. A it's ride still just share. an Uber driver with a different sign up, right? Well, yeah. I went to get one ride share and it was 22 minutes wait and I was like, what? That seems long. Really? So I, I always have two or three on the go. Yeah. So the other one was nine minutes and I thought that's better. So that's how it. do they go with um, rating you on... Is it Ola or Dee Dee? Dido or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm always well, I'm always boggled by the fact that you get a low rating. It's like, how can you mess up sitting in a seat? <laughs> oh, no, you know what it? I mean? Oh, oh, particularly I, if you're not drunk and coming home yeah, from a big right. night out. That's oh, wait, why that'll be it. It's <laughs> such a relief catching a cab. Catching a cab is no, yeah. my like me sitting here not talking to you is if if you're upset by that I'm not going to be affected by it. Yeah. Um. Just the whole ratings thing in an you Uber. Close the door yeah. firmly. Doesn't, I, I feel I feel anxiety getting in an Uber. Like I have to be at my best. Yeah. Yeah. Be the best passenger I can be. Perform. Yeah. 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 I, I always try to be very polite and say at the end, "Thank you for the lovely ride." Oh, that. I mean, yeah. that goes it's a long really way. Not. Can I just throw in the taxi, <laughs> Harry? You got a t- taxi story that happened to you the other day, actually. What? Instead oh, of yeah, that's right. Yeah, they, um, they, I, I chose to get a taxi because I was sick of ride shares yeah. experience. And uh, I get to my house, right, Dave? What'd you go for? Swan, black and uh, white? Swan, swan, old school. Oh, swan. Yeah, grassroots taxi company. Um, <laughs> and uh, mom, mom and pop business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people. Uh, the guy added the airport fee as he dropped me out the front of my house. Wait. Uh, last time I checked, I don't live at T1. Yeah, wow. And you saw him press it. Yes, I saw him. Four dollars. And what did you say? What did you say to the guy? I saw you do that, mate. And what did he say? Well, it's two a.m. and I was pretty keen just to get to bed and yeah, yeah, get out of there. So didn't want to have a debate about it. That's what they do because I got to my place and it was like twice as much as it should have been. And I think he might have done a few boggies of Scarborough. <laughs> <laughs> and he's done, a few, done a few laps of the Indy. Yeah. And but he probably did that as well. My brother was saying they just flicked the. The button, there's a button that adds money, which there shouldn't be. I, was I wish I had that in my and bank how, account. And how do they apply this? But what are they, what, what? And then at the end, he just said, uh, it's, um, it was something like ridiculous for Scarborough, like 48 bucks from the city. And he goes, I went, what? And he goes, yeah, it's on the meter. And I was like, oh, I, kept, I took yes. my eyes off him doing the buttony thing. Oh, keep your <laughs> eye on Yeah, because they oh. can add like a booking fee and all sorts of things. Oh. The the button, I tell you what, there's definitely benefits of ride share and there's definitely benefits of... Taxis. I just yeah. want to you cover that. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan wants to ride home at some point. <laughs> <in his life. laughs> He's still got a five star rating. He's doing everything to protect it. Isn't he? <laughs> from I just don't want to get the anger of the taxi system. Oh. Love the taxi. From now on, I'm just calling mum to pick me up. That's a great idea. Mom, so she'll drive from Marmadale to get you. <laughs> mum, come to Connections. I know it's 5 a.m., <gasps> but I need to be picked up. That was me the other that night. That was Nathan. That's how you know a big night. It was terrible. Was it? it? Oh, no, no, everyone was having a great time, weren't we, Harry? It was, it was an amazing time. It was, Most of us. It was after a, a staff party. <laughs> 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 and um, then like it was 4 a.m. and then I went, oh, my God. And then I was like, what are you? What? what there comes an age. What have I become? And or then, what did I And I was I talking about I looking down at your wrist and seeing a stamp. Oh. The or, next day, it's such a sad thing. Or like several overlapping in different colours. Yes, right, yes, what's yes, worse than one stamp? All the stamps. Where did I go to? Yeah. <laughs> the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. So we are talking about when you have a little bit of a existential crisis. Nathan had one at <laughs> Connections at 4am. Fantastic <laughs> nightclub. Nothing to do with Connections. No, you just looked just, around and went, oh God, what am I doing there? <laughs> getting home at four in the morning around that time. Like, grow up. Like, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> I have those, well, I've had them a lot over the journey, but I, I was talking to David Mundy about this about a week ago. 
One time in Vegas, we got home after all the days, all the nights out, and we're up in his room. And on the way home, I grabbed this bag of beef jerky. It was one kilo. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of beef jerky. It's a lot of beef jerky. <laughs> so anyway, I was eating this beef jerky, and then he and he pulled the curtains. The curtains started coming. <laughs> and it's broad daylight. <laughs> broad daylight. It's and seven here in you the are. morning. Here you are eating beef jerky. A kilo of beef jerky. And I'm an hour away from getting Megan. Uh, Megan's probably going to call me because he's got three st- screaming kids at home at that yeah. stage. And that's when I was like, oh. What am, I doing? Not for what am I doing? What am I doing? I've got to check myself before I wreck myself, really. Hey, Hello, Matt. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, hey Matt. Matt. Have you had that moment? Like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Um, I was going through basic training for the Army um, about a year ago. And, um, and while you're there, they really drill into you uh, minor details. So, um, you know, our collars and all this good stuff. Yeah. And, yep. um, so even if you have your pockets undone, if you got your you know if your pockets are inside out or anything, you get absolutely ripped apart for it. Yeah, yep. okay. And um, so we've got we've got pockets with zips on them, and if you have your zip if you have your zip open, you get ripped in half. <laughs> and um, so I've got this corporal, you know, an inch and a half away from my face, absolutely yelling at me. What because, are you doing? Because, because your pockets are you know, because your pockets are What are you doing with your life? All because I've got a uh, zip undone, and that's when I was like, okay, what am I? What am what I? What am I? Maybe doing? this isn't for me. I think you're right. What am I doing here? At that time when he's screaming right in your face, you can hear, feel the spit hitting your face because yes. um, he's that close. Did you slowly grab your hand and just like slowly zip the pocket back? <laughs> Oh no! You got, yeah, no. If you did that, you got it, it, it just got worse. Then you get like two or three corporals yelling at your face. You can't, like, you can't move. You can't do anything if they're yelling at you. Man, yeah, you're really live. selling it. Now, I'll be honest. How ca- so? I've always thought, would I be able to handle that? And I suppose no. the closest that I've seen on <laughs> SAS Australia is the answer is no. Yeah, like, and I remember when we went to that like yes. a, a, a sort of simulated yes. training Our, session yeah. for the Navy, and they're just and screaming like, no. at you. It's like no. no. So you you got through all of it, Matt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It got through all of it. It was good fun. Like I loved it, but you know, it, you, you get you you kind of go there knowing that you're going to get yelled at. You just try yes. not to. But, but when a grown you, man is yelling at you about a pocket, in fr- like you, an inch away from your face, you go, you know what? Life's too short. It's not, it, um, yeah. Imagine yeah. imagine I'm waking up every day and knowing you're going to get screamed at. Is that what marriage is, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I told you this years ago. <laughs> good on you, finally, mate. finally, you believe me. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Adam, hello. Uh, good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, have you had that moment where you just suddenly went, oh, my God, what am I doing here? I've had so many, and luckily the talent there is to ignore them and <laughs> carry on and have some more. Yeah. Yes. But, yes, uh, well, I can't let the Army ring because I'm in the Navy, and uh, <laughs> you, you find yourself in strange cities and towns, and um, on this one rainy afternoon, I decided to go to the cinema. I was all by myself, so you got two choices, cinema or drinking. Yeah. And this one occasion, I chose cinema. <laughs> one occasion. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, she, she says, what do, you, you know, what do you want to watch? And I said, whatever's next. And uh, she gave me a ticket, and I went to the appropriate um, room. Yeah. Uh, it was dark. So anyway, I found a seat, and it was a bit full, and I was happy with that. And uh, anyway, so it started up this film, and it, of course, lit up all the audience as soon as the first scene came on. And I realised, I thought, oh my God, there's nothing but teenage girls in here. Yes. <laughs> what, <laughs> what am I about to watch? <laughs> turns out it was me. It turns out it was Mean Girls, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> there are life lessons in Mean Girls for all of us. <laughs> but I, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed, but don't, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 but if, you'd, if, you'd, if you could have seen me, you would have seen a six foot man slowly shrink into the sea. <laughs> Trying not to look conspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's in the watching. Don't worry, don't worry. After that, I had to go drinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My favourite thing is the cinema being lit up and turning around and realising it's all teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> you look I, a bit I, like I, a predator at that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, and I was trying hard not to sweat because that would have given me away. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Adam. I mean, the, old, the, old, the only older man in there sweating, <laughs> surrounded by no, teenage girls. Know. That's a great point, Adam. <laughs> Nathan, Dad, and Sean. Welcome into the show, um, comedian and now, weirdly, author, mm-hmm. Lawrence Mooney. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Nat, and uh, it's great to be back, Sean, Nathan. Oh, mate. Lawrence. It's been too Char- long, hasn't it? Charlie, Charlie the button monkey. He's, uh, <laughs> oh, his name's <laughs> Harry, but sure. <laughs> no, he's not. Sorry. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> I was under pressure when I came in because Nathan was really serving up to me for having turned my back. 
yeah. well, gotten I, over yeah, and gone to the other side for a few years. We had created such a... We did. Yeah, we thought we had a bond. Yeah. And then suddenly you get a little job offer Ooh, and yeah. you decide money and, and the a ego career. Is, yeah, I just grew out of all important. proportion. They turned me into a monster. <laughs> they did, didn't they? <laughs> like, if anyone knows what we're talking about, just Google Lawrence Mooney and his last job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it ended abruptly, yeah. as uh, most of my personal and professional relationships do. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> and at this stage of my life, I've gone into a deep reflection and I've found a common denominator, hmm. and it's me. No. So, right. <laughs> So I thought I'd write a book called Embracing Your Limitations, which is a parody of the self-help yes. genre. Are you guys into self-help? Who's I, a self-help I, I listen reader? to a lot of motivation yeah, stuff sure. and, okay. and, and the self-help stuff. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> looking at me. So I just listen to Tony about Robbins sort of stuff. I, listen, I hear some Tony Robbins, absolutely, well, Lawrence. Right. So when I see this, I'm like, oh, this is the antichrist to that. Well, it antichrist. is, but it started with Tony Robbins uh, in the mid-'90s when I was a drama school student and, you know, just smashing a few cones at 2 a.m., just... <laughs> <laughs> and then Tony would come on and go, do you want to embrace your power and change and your goes, life? And you go, yeah, Tony, I do, actually. Right? And, and do you want to take control of your finances? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it started there, bought the 12 CDs. Did you? With four easy payments. Yes, yeah. nice. And list, yeah, absolutely listened to them. And I really became big into self-help. I've read them all. From there, it was Seven Habits of Highly... Uh, effective, effective people, people. Yes. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff, mm. who moves my cheese, more latterly, don't, uh, the subtle art of not giving an F yep. and yes. the power of now. Yep. And they all amount to the, the same secret. thing. Yeah. <laughs> the secret. Well, the secret. And Brene Brown is the big one oh, yeah, now. Oh, Brene Brown, yes. Yes, she is. On YouTube doing those TED Talks. Yes. And it always rings my bell if someone goes, I have got the answer. Yes. no one's right. got the answer. No, yeah. 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 Even though she's very smart and very yes. engaging, she says she's got the answer and the answer now is the buzzword is vulnerability. Yes. You've got to remain vulnerable, do you, in this world yeah. where people are prepared to kick you <laughs> yeah. at a moment's notice. Yeah. You don't remain vulnerable. But my, my you push it down and remain tough. My favourite <laughs> thing about the secret was, remember the secret was as simple as get a, get a, get, get a cork board and put a picture of a Ferrari up there. Yes. Then yeah. imagine owning it and the next minute you'll have it. That's right. Oh, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, if you yeah, wanted yeah. your Secret. bill paid, you just put it yeah. on the um, on the fridge. <laughs> you got to manifest and wrote it. Pay, like, and then, and then the suddenly money would appear. It will manifesting get it, Lawrence. Yeah, the secret, like that's <laughs> a posi- uh, you know, positive visualization, manifesting yes. it, and everyone started doing it with car parks, and then all of a sudden there were no car parks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone had. Well, one. there's always <laughs> someone that's not reading the secret, <laughs> yeah. and they're the ones that miss out. Uh, <laughs> so, Lawrence, and they're in a Hyundai Gex. <laughs> <laughs> but you can park them anywhere. So yeah. So you've had a lot of experiences going around listening to this stuff, and yeah. and, and I know you went to Bali, right? And you went and saw a guru, so that would have mm. helped you out and see well, the light. So I've gone the Eastern mysticism path yes. as well. I've read, you know, Taming the Tiger, which is a really good one in terms of you know controlling the monkey mind. Yes. Um, but what I do with self help is. I give it some lip service. I'll start reading a book and then tell my friends, "Oh, this is amazing! This is the, this is the one." That. Eckhart Tolle, he's really yes. into it, and uh, make massive resolutions that I can't keep. And then a week later, I've reverted back to myself. Sure. Yep. And I was like, oh, "That book's a load of bull." Mm. And so what I've done is uh, I've written a book that helps you just kind of resolve yourself to yourself. So it is just a comedy accept parody. That you're a failure. Yeah. Well, you've got to embrace you're in a loser. You're listening to Nathan, Nat and Sean. So King Charles, um, now that his um, dearly beloved mother has passed away, yeah. getting rid of all of her horses, um, <laughs> bit, by pit, bit, bit by bit, dismantling yeah. the stables. Yeah, it's done. Right. It's done. They're thinking in a few years on um, the stables and they said it'll be very sad if this is the case, will be a um, museum sort of thing. Yeah, to right. The, the, As the a tribute queens. to the oh, that'll be nice breeding to program. I mean, he's not interested in the ra- in races. Care. So he's not, Thank he's God they're out. As yeah. king, he's like, no, yep. see you later. And you know what? Whether it be your mother or, or, or your partner or a loved one, you, you, there's something that everyone's itching to get rid of that they own. Isn't there, Ali? Hello. Hi, how are you all? Hi, Hi Ali. Ali. What are we itching to get rid of? Uh, Mum has over 300 bells. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does she live at the bell tower? What's happening? What's going we on? We used to joke that she was going to be buried with them in the casket and now she wants to be cremated. We're going to give them to everyone at the wake to smash like the Greeks do with the plate. Uh, okay. <laughs> so tell bells. me about her bells. Uh, they've been... 
she's been collecting them for over oh, 30 years. Everyone that goes away to a country yes. on a holiday brings her brings back a bell. bell. I mean, it's an easy gift for I, her am, now. am I thinking of most of them are the, the ceramic bells? Yeah, like a hand yeah. bell? Yeah, yeah. A Holland yeah, 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 hand bell, yeah. yeah. She has some crisp, nice crystal ones, I guess, but, oh, yeah, nice. most of them are... Are they, yeah, the little tourist bells that you get. Oh, <laughs> Ellie, are they everywhere around the house? She's got a, in the dining area, there's a massive big uh, shelf unit and they're all on there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ellie. I, I, sorry, wait, Ellie. It, it's like a really long shelf unit that just, and it's just it is, bells. It's full of bells. bells. Ceiling to floor, full of bells, lots bell, of shelves. Bell, bell. Bell. Oh, you can't wait to get rid of those bells, can you, Ellie? <laughs> no, none of us can't wait to get rid Does of them. I mean, you might keep one good one, right? To remember yeah, her by? maybe one. Hey, Ali, yeah. have you ever bought her one of these bells? Yes, I probably have bought her. Um, <laughs> well, quite a few of them. You know she's going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> you're part of the problem. Oh, <laughs> Ali. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ali. You know what? I'm sorry. These people I don't get, like the bell people, mm. but... It's so great to have one in your life because whenever their birthday comes, it's you know so exactly easy. What to get exactly, them. you don't have to think. It's a no-brainer. It's easy. It's a uh, um, thanks, Ali. <laughs> Bronte, hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, Good Bronte. Bronte. What are we eating to get rid of? Uh, my grandfather is a bird breeder, and he actually <laughs> has thousands of them, and he's in his late seventies. Um, what sort of birds? Yeah, what kind of birds? All kinds. So budgies. So got macaw- like macaws. Oh, macaws. Oh. What? Every flavour too. Sorry, like, is he just yeah. got like um, he's of Avery's at the back? He's at, yeah, he's got like uh, acres in Mandra, mm. and um, he's had a couple of heart attacks recently, and he just yeah refuses to get rid of them. He's got babies. He actually left my wedding early because he had to feed the baby birds. Oh, <laughs> and Bronte. here he is, like chewing up your wedding cake and spitting it into their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bronte, and that's my that's my mum and dad's house. Exactly go. the same. Oh really? Yeah, but he, He's he's so old and yeah has has had a ha- couple of heart attacks yeah. in the last year and walks down there and has to feed them and oh. just they're the priority and we're like come on we've got yeah. to start you know downsizing and not, yeah. won't have the bar of it. Can I just say though, out of anything that somebody owns, it's the easiest to get rid of birds. Yeah, you just, just leave let the, gate the cage open, open <laughs> and just <laughs> and just go yeah, shoot let them, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Should take its course. <laughs> Doesn't work with the homing pigeons though. Everything okay. else. Yeah, good. that's right. Homing pigeons. Yeah, they they'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, does he have a prized to... bird, Bronte? Uh, he's had a few over over the time, but yeah, it's probably the macaws. Yeah, they're yeah. expensive. They're expensive and they live a really long time. Yeah, they do. Mm, mm, yeah, yep. I'm holding out for um, you know, when he starts downsizing, and I can say, can I have one of them? Yeah, and then just <laughs> sell it. Yeah. And you're going to sell it or keep it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll probably sell it. You're gonna, sell it yeah. you're gonna, so you want you want him? You want to start flogging? I was yes. gonna say flogging your granddad's birds, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't sound right. Probably a better way we could check it. Check that out, <laughs> check that out the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. We're discussing the really important topic of um, are you itching to get rid of a loved one stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Just king like the, the king, he's getting rid of Lizzie's uh, horses. He is, done. So, and she had a heap of them. Yeah. Hi, Oxy. Tony. Hi, good morning. Hi, How Tony. are you? Tony. Whose stuff are we talking about, Tony? Uh, my nans. Oh, um, yep. Nans, I think nans are horrendous for collecting things, but <laughs> mine loves to collect lamps. Uh, lamps? You, lamps, lamps, lamps. Lights I love with lamp. lamps. Uh, they're beautiful if you have a theme of lamps, but when you have old retro 70s style brown and orange lamps, mm. uh, blue lamps, white modern lamps. Oh, and they're all oh, like, so it's the full spectrum of lamps. Yeah, there's, they're, they're tall ones, short ones, Dutch like absolutely lamps. horrible. Lamps and through the, the ages. Thing? Yeah. E- exactly. The worst thing is she won't even turn them on because she's too scared of the power bill. Oh. So they're just, they're just there for decoration. Oh. I mean, she sold a couple she of lamps. She could pay happy. for it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She, yeah, I think. I think she has about two hundred lamps. Two hundred lamps. Like, so, so give me your room. So, so give me that. Say that the, the, the living room, room. The yeah. living room. So how? Um, go explain. So, that. so uh, for her birthday, it was only just recently. I got her a white modern, you know, the tripod, new modern lamp. Yes. Uh, which she'd shoved in the corner because she's got all the yellow brown, horrible ones right at the front. Yes. But. It, it, like, it's it just absolutely horrible. It's like walking through, well, I love op shops, but it's literally like walking through an op shop in so a house. how it's, many lamps would be in the, in the lounge room, do you reckon, as an example? Uh, 40, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, there, are there, like, table lamps like on every surface? 
Uh, yeah, every surface. So on the tables, on the bookshelves, on the buffet, on the kitchen <gasps> bench. The, I love uh, her. Next, next, I, I would literally have to take a picture and upload it. You, yes, you please. Don't even tiny, yes, yes, please, tiny. please to, get her permission you, and take a photograph. <laughs> It is so funny, but she loves her lamps. Does she have a lava? Lamp. Does she have a lava lamp, Tony? I don't know if she actually has a lava oh, lamp. Oh, Christmas oh, gift! Like that many <laughs> lamps and not one lava we, lamp. Uh, yeah, not one lava lamp. That's yeah, that'd be something we have to get her. But it's so funny because we all have different styles. So yes. I love like the new modern stuff. My other family like um, beach theme. Yeah. Got other friends that like the retro theme. So every time we buy one. None of us match. So her house is like, uh, oh my it's like walking into the uh, 80s. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like going through a, yeah, a retro lighting yeah. store. Yeah, yeah. like, mm. like yeah. going back in time. It's like, like walking through, um, yeah, back in time. You know what? You should send her on it's a holiday to, to Beacon Lighting. Or <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I think. Or to I think. <laughs> it's like walking through Beacon. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Oh, please send us a photo Thanks, of that, Tony. Tony. That sounds extraordinary. Oh. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. My best friend is in the house. Kate Hello. Walsh. Have you missed me? <laughs> have we yes. missed you? Oh, my God. I missed you. Lucky we got so many photos so in our office so we can just see you. <laughs> I know. And a live yeah. webcam, you obviously. You got those then. Yeah, yeah, I had my people send them in. <laughs> um, I carry them around in the car. <laughs> Just in case. Let's talk about the most amazing thing ever, and that is Perth has locked her down, everybody. <laughs> She's engaged. Woo! Did you mean Shut to tell on. the world about that? Yeah, I uh, know. I would love to be, <laughs> isn't that like the most inelegant way on Instagram? Yeah. Hey. So, yeah. you did, so you, that was real, like a real mistake, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I was doing an Instagram live with Amy Brenneman for a private practice yeah. with yep. the 15th anniversary, which I didn't even know. I was like, should we even be doing Sorry. this? But apparently people <laughs> wanted to hear us ramble on. And then, yeah, Andrew walked to the steps. I'm like, there he is now. The jungle cat. I think I called him a jungle cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, fia- my fiance, I was like, oh. And, and Amy's like, you just outed him on Instagram. Do you realize that? And then, yeah, he came rocking And up. now the world knows. Yeah, yeah. now the world knows. Mm. Well, yeah. um, congratulations. Yes, we've got um, you some flowers. We say it with flowers. Well, we got and, it. And and uh, branded boots. And a bottle of jeans. Oh we know you got a man in your life permanently now, so yep. you're going to need oh, that. That's it. Pink. And this I is like our very own champagne, our very own Prosecco. Yeah, Nathan at the Sean Prosecco. Oh, now we can't you. see you anymore be- behind the enormous <laughs> the flowers. flowers. <laughs> so, so, oh my gosh, so lovely. they're so <laughs> beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel like Miss America. <laughs> well, a little bit. <laughs> Plus, it's all over I mean, you're Miss royalty to us. <laughs> this is older America. This is, I like the pink gin. I've never yeah. seen. Ooh, 20 years yeah, that's from the radio from, station. Uh, that's from so. Fremantle, uh, Republic of Fremantle Gin Distillery. Okay. They're good. They're okay, good. good. Thank you. We got thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Two of my favorite things, flowers and alcohol. But yeah. let's just talk about you being locked down because I'm very excited. Yes. Because that means locked I was always down. worried you were going to flee. I was always flee. just like, you're, you're a flight risk to me. And, um, and now, I feel like you're you're always going to be tied to Perth. I will always be tied to Perth. This is so Perth. exciting for us. Yes, I'm excited. It is very more probably more exciting for you than me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is. I, it I, is more exciting. So, do you feel is are you you feel at home here, don't you? This yeah, is I your do. home. Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. In, in fact, my brother just came to visit. He just landed today. He's oh, here for think? six weeks. I don't know. He just got off the plane. Okay, great. He's probably going to sleep. Oh, good. And then, oh, yeah. yes. But I'm very excited to have him. Perth, put your best foot forward. We've got a couple of days that aren't going to be magical because you yeah. want the, I mean, like yesterday, right? Beautiful. Oh, this is, going, yeah. oh, this is the day that he's So right, beautiful yeah. you went to the beach, according I know. to Perth now. <laughs> that was on my birthday. I know. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And not looking my best. I was just like, that's what I was saying. I, just, I was bragging. I do work out like very intermittently. No, I, I, <laughs> I'm consistently light working out. Well, you're off to Pilates shortly. I am. I, that's, yeah, that's how committed you, you are. You don't get that beach body. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. Someone actually, my, no, my endorsement agent was like, listen, there's a vitamin company that's really interested in, in you doing like a, a branded thing because you're just like average. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so real. They saw the beach photos. Oh, you're so, like, so real. Oh my god! Oh, How do you deal with that one? That is okay. That's oh, really nice. Right. You're doing well. well. I, I hey think guys. I love those, those insults wrapped accessible. in a compliment. Never. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so do you spot these people taking photos? How does well, that no, work? Wait, wait, wait. There's someone around, but you don't want to go up to. 
someone and just be like, hey, got a camera in that bag? Why is that? Because you look like a psycho. Why, why is that, Katie? Have you got a, got a story from the <laughs> past, I, do you? Because I might not I was be like, taking please. a photo. I, no, I know pictures, please. And they're like, can you just take one? It was like tourists going, can you just take one of us <laughs> in front of the beach? <laughs> exactly. And that you're that like, that oh, I'm the biggest okay. jerk. So yeah. you just don't ever want to. So you make... can't make that call. No, you don't want to do that. It's like asking someone if they're pregnant. <laughs> yeah. 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 What are you expecting? And they're like, I'm not. Yeah. And it's in a different <laughs> environment because you're not back in the States where that would be a thing all the yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Or you just don't. There's, you know, and there's places in Malibu and stuff where you just don't. There's no photographers because you can't yeah. get down there. And so, yeah. I mean, it's one thing well. for you. You've you've been in. <laughs> <laughs> but what does your fiancé think I know. He's, I don't he's think he enjoys it person. at all. He's like, what is he's happening? A farmer. Yeah. A farmer. Let's, talk about, yeah. let's talk about his bathers. Hello. <laughs> I know. Oh, why did you pick them? I did. Oh, he's going to he's gonna be mortified. So they are this. very tight, aren't they? <laughs> no, stop it. He, this is literally his worst nightmare coming true. He's like, no one, I'll wear them. It's your birthday. I was like, I thought they were cute. He's like, only when no one's around, which no one was. No except one was. one kid yeah. in the dunes with a backpack, but you don't want to approach and go. And a zoom yeah. lens. Well, let's reassure him, right? They looked great, but you can tell from space that his girlfriend bought them for <laughs> Sorry, Beyonce. From you space. can tell from space. <laughs> but they were very lovely parents. They were very thoughtful. They're very European cars. Where did you get them from? He certainly, he certainly didn't buy so them in Mora, did he? That's yeah. how it said on the tag. So, so thoughtful. thoughtful. <laughs> where, where did you get them from? Do you remember? God, it wasn't Orla, it wasn't really it was something oh Dandy Del Mar, it's called. It's this brand that's all kind of vintage and retro. Which most men shop at. <laughs> How's your uh, how's your acting going over in, in the US? You're flying back and forth a lot. Yes, I am. It's been busy. It's good. I'm doing gr- a few episodes of Grey's Anatomy yes. again, which has been great. And then uh, Emily in Paris is going to um, that comes out soon, doesn't it? In December. I want to make sure I'm not. Yep. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not exposing myself. Um, <laughs> Yes, that's a, I think December twentieth, but I'm not certain of the exact drop date. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to Paris for the premiere, which will be oh, exciting. unreal! Oh, Sounds yeah. awful. It does yeah, seem like when terrible. you leave here and go back uh, over to Europe and or America, you just bang straight into work. You, you, yeah. There's no mucking around. No, I go right in, get in, t- and then get out. This time I'm, I'll stay a little longer because I'm going to spend the holidays in New York with my friends and family. Don't get too nice. comfortable. I'm not going to get too. No, comfortable. what, I, I what makes me comfortable anyway, about so. you coming back is that your dog and cat are here. That's that's right. And you wouldn't make them fly that. You can't. No, they're again. too old. No. Yeah. No, yeah. So they can't. you're That's committed. It. So I'm committed. Yeah. <laughs> On top of the fiance, here. but yeah. also the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Pablo, Rosie. Oh, yeah. And Andrew. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. Kate, how are you going with the flying? Because you, ha- I mean, we're not doing that very often at all. You're doing it regularly. She's yeah. not the pointy end, Sean. She's fine. Yeah, I know. It's still, it's still a long way. I'm lucky. Don't cry corner. for me, Argentina. When's the last I'm, time you I'm laying fl- down in comfort. When's the last so. time you flew economy? Talk to me. Talk to oh, me, sister. No, actually. Because you're an average person, I hear. I am very <laughs> average. No, I, we did fly because uh, we got bumped off on uh, Qantas. Qantas uh, betrayed us and we mm. they cancelled our. It's just gone. There's no. It's also like a little. Like, no one cares anymore. You're like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It There's used to no be that they would flight. try and to that, fit you on nothing. another flight. They're like, no. oh, no, that's cancelled. Sorry. Bye. So we did fly. We flied coach. And flew, flied. We flew coach from um, Sydney to, last time we came back in, from Sydney to... Sydney to Perth. Perth. Can yeah. I just say, right? So when you so, so this is the, this is what we should be thinking when we see a celebrity in economy or coach, <laughs> right? You, you should be going, oh my god, that's so great. They're one of the people. But what's really going through your mind is, oh, I thought they were doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What happened to her? You, you'd also say, no, that, that can't be her. <laughs> just, can't, <laughs> just doesn't what it is. <laughs> that can't Jeez, be her. She must get paid, her. paid much on Grey. She looks like Kate like Walsh, but more ordinary. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> more basic. <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.